Hello everyone and welcome back to Sophie Loves 10. I'm here today with a bookmark video. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this and I thought I would join in. It, I don't have a very interesting selection but I thought something to watch. So the first one that I'm using right now and I'm reading this lovely book which is The Girl of Ink and Stars and I have my favourite one which is this. It is an Ashley book farm and coffee shop uh, bookmark. This is a book farm in Warwickshire where I used to live near uni and they sell loads of secondhand books and they have a coffee shop as well which I absolutely love and I tend to use this bookmark quite a lot because it's quite battered. I don't mind if it gets even more battered so that is the bookmark that I'm using. Then I have my little pot of bookmarks. I took this from Starbucks because I love the cup. How nice is that? This is their autumn cup. So I've got quite a few in here. I've got some bookmarks here. So first of all, I have one of these in. <coughs> that didn't work. I have this in there, but I don't use this as a bookmark. I can tell you that for sure. Man, my hair is like crazy today. So I have that. Then we have these little magnetic -y ones. I've got ones that are footprints in the sand and ones that are little stones, which I really like. I really like these, but I tend not to use them because I'm always worried that they're just going to suddenly fall off my book or get um, something's going to go in my bag that's going to take them off the page and I'm really, really rubbish at finding the page that I'm on in the book. So I tend not to use these, but I might try and use them soon. Then I have some bookmarks here. I've got most of my bookmarks are free from places like I'm not going to deny I don't buy a lot of bookmarks but I have my Dawn Books one which I absolutely love. Dawn Books is a bookshop that specializes in travel books and I really enjoy their the bookshop. I went to the one in according to this Marylebone High Street but there are I've been told by a customer at work actually told me that they do have loads of shops around London and somewhere else in England but you can find that on Google I'm sure but check their bookshop out if you haven't been there. The next one I have is a book uh, day keeps boredom at bay book token uh, and na national book token bookmark this was sent to me from I think I bought something online and it came with in the order I really like that though I think it was actually drawn by a child to win a competition I think I don't know why I would think that if it's not that but maybe it is but I really like that it's quite a small one as well next I have a um, I think this is from an author this is Alexandra Sokolov and this is The Huntress Moon I haven't read this book but I think it was at a book event that I went to last year they were giving these out in the goodie bags so I've got that I haven't actually used this yet but it's quite a nice shiny one then we have another one which is Jane Isaac and this is I believe she's a thriller writer and I've got her bookmark I think that came into the the goodie bag as well then I've got the bookshop for Canterbury <laughs> um, University Bookshop for Canterbury bookmark I don't live in Canterbury my boyfriend lives in Canterbury and I like the bookshop there it's a Blackwells I believe and they tend to have a really nice layout so I've got that one and I haven't used this yet so that's why it's so clean and nice then we've got another book depository one which I think the national book tokens came as a book depository order but I've got this which is super cute it's got all little dogs all over it if you can see that little focus and this is the standard book depository one on the back so we have that there is a um, this is the Bookmarks 2014 um, set and you can buy or view the whole set on the deposit Book Depository website so this is quite cute. Then I have a super special bookmark. There's nothing that interesting about it but it has memories for me and um, that is this one and this is from Shakespeare and Company in Paris. I went to Paris for my birthday last year and the first thing I had to do when I got there is find Shakespeare and Company and buy some books. I did get a recommendation for a book whilst there and it's Hate by Tristan someone. If I remember the name I'll put it down in the down bar 
and I read that that is about French politics and gay people within poli within the politics. And I really enjoyed that a lot. I can do a review about that if you want me to. I haven't actually read any books based in France. I think that was the only one. So I really enjoyed that. But that is the bookmark for Shakespeare and Company. Then I have my beloved Waterstones bookmark. This is just a click and collect bookmark they give you free with some items. I don't know why I'm showing you all the free ones. I'll show you another one. This is the book people. This was an order. I got the whole Roll Doll collection for my birthday. So this came with that. Just the book people one. We'll get into the more interesting ones now. So to start off with, I have the Willoughby Book Club, which I joined. I can do a video about this if you want me to. Um, I got sent some books from them. I did a three-month subscription, I think, I got for my birthday. I know that Eleanor from Eleanor Reads Books, we had a discussion about the books that she got. I got two books that I already have, and one book that I still haven't read, but is on my bookcase to read, and it sounds really interesting. So that is their information there, if you want to join in. Um, and I will do a video about them if you want me to. Please leave a comment if you fancy me leaving a video about the Willoughby Book Club, because they're pretty cool. And it's got a quote by George R. R. Martin on the back. Who doesn't love that? Now we have the slightly more interesting ones. They're not just paper. So I have my Shakespeare one. And it's all the places I believe I bought it from Stratford-upon-Avon. Because I used to live around there for university. Um, so they've got all the places in uh, for Shakespeare. So we've got Shakespeare's birthplace, Hall's Croft, Nash's house, New Palace, Anne Hathaway's college, cottage, Palmer's farm and Mary Arden's house. They've got all the little figurines on there. So that's a really nice one. But I find these leather ones tend to slip out of the books more easily. So I use the paper ones. But I do like these leathery ones um, just to look at really. So I have that. Then I've got one that I've had for such a super long time, and this is my daughter bookmark from my mum. I've got hairs everywhere. And this says, the love of a daughter is beyond compare, always sharing and forever there. And my mum gave it to me and she said, this is you in a bookmark. <laughs> I was like, thank you, mum. It's just so cute. So I have that. The face is really weird, though. Does anybody think so? I think. Then I have one that I haven't actually opened yet. I bought this from Hong Kong, I believe. Yes, I've got the Hong Kong dollars on the back, definitely from Hong Kong. And this is a tea time bookmark. This is a super, super dainty bookmark with the tea pot on the front, not the teapot, tea case to put your tea inside. And I haven't used this yet because I have a feeling that it's either going to break or it will just, I'll lose it in a book because it's so cute and tiny. But I think it's quite a nice little thing to have just as a memory from my trip to Hong Kong. So I've got that one. And if you want a video about what I've done, or if you want to know more about what I've done, about uh, what I did in Hong Kong last summer, I have a blog post all about that. So I'll link that down in the down bar. Then I have two from the same company, I believe. Um, this is the Old World Bookmark. And they have the little tassel bitch, which I love. And then it says, wherever you go, go with your heart. So there's that one. And I love to travel, so this really suits me down to a T. And the next one is shoot for the moon, even if you miss it and miss it, you will land among the stars. And that is the moon one with a little tassel there. And I love to travel and I have a thing about the moon. My car is actually nicknamed Luna because it's bigger than it's silver and I love the moon. So we've got those two bookmarks. I love the tassels. Then I've got the best of 50 modern classics. I bought this not to use a bookmark, just to know what are the 50 best modern classics to be honest i quite like having lists of things and ticking my way through lists i'm doing the 2016 reading challenge so if you want a video about that as well i will do that um as soon as i can i've got loads of books on here this is um so the first one is the great gatsby and then it goes on and you have a little magnet there so you could have it as a bookmark a normal bookmark or you can have it as a magnetic bookmark stick on a page and you've got loads of books in there and then it's got on the back as well. So I really like this bookmark because it's the best, bit of, best of both worlds with that. So that's that one. Now I've got a bookmark that is really difficult to use because it is complete metal and I find it's, it doesn't stay in the book at all. But it is nice to have and you won't be able to read it at all um, on the camera. But this is the 50 books to read before you die. I have a book of, I think it's 100 books to read before you die and it's got descriptions about all of them. And although it's very morbid, a topic, 
things to do before you die. I just think it's a list of the best books to read that you should read, not necessarily before you die. But we have um, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which I'm still working my way through. 1984, Pride and Prejudice, uh, Grapes of Wrath, To Kill a Mockingbird, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, A Passage to India, The Lord of the Flies, Hamlet, A Bend in the River, The Great Gatsby, The Catcher in the Rye, The Bell Jar, Brave New World, A Diary of Anne Frank, Don Quixote's Coat, not sure how to pronounce that, The Bible, <laughs> um, The Canterbury Tales, Euthyles, a quiet, The Quiet American, Birdsong, Money, Harry Potter series, Moby Dick, The Wind in the Willows, His Dark Materials trilogy, yes. Anna Karenina, Alice, in Wonderland's, uh, Alice Adventures in Wonderland, you should read it. Rebecca, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, On the Road, Heart of Darkness, The Way We Live Now, The Outsider, The Colour Purple, Life of Pi, Frankenstein, The War of the Worlds, Men Without Women, Gulliver's Travels, The Christmas Carol, Huckabee Finn, Robertson Crusoe, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Catch-22, the, Mount of, the Count of Monte Cristo, Memoirs of the Geisha, The Divine Comedy, and The Picture of Gor Dorian Gray. It's really difficult to read these, so that's why I thought I'd read them out loud for you all now. Um, but that is the bookmark with the top 50 things to read before you die. So if you've read any of these, have a conversation below. We can talk about which ones you prefer out of the ones I said. And if you recommended any of these, please recommend down below. So that's that. I've got another one of these little magnetic ones I've just fallen out and this one doing yoga which is super cool I believe that's the tree pose so that's really nice little magnetic one then I have something that not something that's not a bookmark but I use it for a bookmark and this is a cocktail stirrer and it says let's cocktail and I really like this so it's got a little hat on it so you can have it as a hat but I use it as a bookmark because it tends to stick in the books and it has a little ball on the end so it doesn't fall out of the book so easily so that's really cute and the last one I have is a bit of an embarrassing one so I'm just going to show you the top picture and this is there's a photo booth at my graduation last year and um, the, we had some pictures and then it came out and it was like this kind of size so you can use it as a bookmark and there's just a sneaky peek of me at my graduation there with Joe. Um, and yeah, so I use that for a bookmark occasionally. So that is all my bookmarks. I have quite a few there. I need to try and fit them all back into this cup now. So that is all my bookmarks there. I've got quite a few of them and I tend to only use the one um, because at the moment I'm only reading one book of the go. I will, however, when things when I get a little bit less busy, I do tend to read more books than one, so I will be needing these at some point. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall speak to you all soon. Goodbye, YouTube!